Hello and welcome back to my kitchen. Uh, today's special guest is uh, yuzu pulp vinegar. I have never actually used this and I need to figure out what sort of thing I could use this in. I mean, come on, yuzu pulp vinegar? Only I would have that. Anyway, so uh, I welcome back to my kitchen and vinegar and baking bread in Lyon by Bill Buford. It was Jacques, another brother, who discovered by accident the boulangerie on the Saône. He had come upon a space for rents situated in front of a footbridge, but it was filthy and filled with trash. He investigated. Two floors, thick stone walls, a worn stone staircase, and in the back, an old wood-burning oven. He wiped off the soot. It said 1802. He became excited. The river, the history, La Fresque de Lyonnais was then being painted on the back wall, and summoned his father, Philippe, and Bob. My father looked at the property from the outside and said, Yes, this is a good boulangerie, Bob told me. Bread has been made here for a long time. The family bought the boulangerie for what was then about $11,000 and got it ready. It was probably I couldn't help keep myself from thinking the last time the floors were cleaned. Bob returned to Paris, and a sign went up. Philippe Richard, artisan boulanger. But it seemed unlikely that Philippe intended to remain. He had a family and a business in Nantes eight hours away. He called Bob. Quit your job, he said, and come run the boulangerie with me. In effect, he was beginning Bob's training, what in French is called a formation helping him find his calling. Without Philippe, Bob said, I would be nothing. After a time, six months, a year, Bob couldn't remember. Philippe announced that he needed to return to Nantes. He'd be back, he said. It had been 15 years. Bob hadn't changed the sign. I will never take it down, he said. From our balcony, with a mountain breeze coming off the Saône, the smells of the boulangerie were inescapable. When you live here, you have no choice. Bob's bread enters your living space. The boulangerie was the village equivalent of a campfire. It held the restaurants together. It united chefs and diners. It made the quartier a gastronomic destination. Hope you enjoy. Join me for the next installment. <laughs>